In the Seraphia Galaxy, a Dalek outpost survived the catastrophe by containing the signal to a single Dalek drone. This resulted in the Dalek's mind absorbing the Emperor and Susan's minds. It was declared the new Dalek Supreme. Audio. The demons. Approximately 2,000 years after the catastrophe, the Daleks had rebuilt and were plotting their return to Mutter's Spiral. Audio. Dalek War. Chapter 4. The Daleks triggered a crisis in the Galactic Union by spreading the NFS plague in the Border Worlds. The Border Worlds eventually seceded from the Union to form their own confederation, and the Daleks approached them offering help with the plague. Audio. The Exterminators. The Daleks arranged the geoforming of the Graxus system for treatment facilities, bringing them into conflict with the Graxus Wardens. Audio, the Healers. In truth, the Daleks' NFS treatment, Variant 7, mutated humans into Daleks to replenish the Daleks' forces. Audio, the Warriors. As the Daleks tightened their hold over the Confederation, the surviving Wardens worked with Galactic Union agents C. Tarkov and Galinar to gather evidence to warn the Union about the Daleks. Audio. The survivors, the demons, the warriors, they eventually traveled to Velishar to gather Kalendorf's psychic recordings, which C had previously witnessed, to evidence the Daleks' past conquests. The Supreme personally led forces to stop them, having been alerted by a traitor in the group, though they managed to transmit their evidence to Georgie Celestru, a sympathetic Union security commander who they hoped could convince the Union to act. Audio. The future. The Daleks eventually outright occupied the border worlds entirely, leading to a cold war between the new Dalek Empire and the Galactic Union. Pros. Mutually assured survival.